So now we are going to start with the first model, and that is the actor model. For that, let us go to Visual Studio and add the first model. In Visual Studio, to add a model, you can just go to the Solution Explorer, and then in here I'll just collapse all. And Visual Studio has already created a default folder named Models, so we are going to put all the models inside this folder. And we have said that a model is just a C-sharp class, so I'll just right-click in here and then go to Add, then Add a class, and then in here make sure that you have selected the C-sharp class, and then I'm going to name this class the Actor, and this is going to be my Actor model. And then click the Add button. Now, before we type any code in here, let us just go to the app, and in here, if you go to the management, and then in here, go to the actors. Now, let us just add a new actor. And here, you see that the actor has three properties. The first property is the profile picture. The second property is the full name. And the last property is a biography. Let us just go back to Visual Studio. And then in here, I'm going to type prop, then double tab. The first property is going to be the profile picture, so string, and that is going to be the profile picture URL. Then next, we have the full name, so prop, double tab, string, and this is going to be the full name, and the last property is going to be the biography, so prop, this is also going to be of type string, and biography or just bio. Now let us just see the changes in here, but since this is going to be used to create or to get data from the database, this model needs to have a property which is going to be the unique identifier for this class, but also for the table rows in the database. So for that I'll just type in your prop and then I'll just leave it as integer and then change the name here to ID. Now the Entity Framework Core is smart enough to know that the ID is the identifier for this class, or you can just name it Actor ID, or you can basically name anything you want, and then just add in here a data annotation key. Now let us import the key, and then this belongs to the component model that data annotations. We are going to talk about the data annotations in the upcoming parts where we add more complexity to the model classes. Now, let us save the changes and this is all you need to do in this part. So the actor has three properties which are going to be translated into three columns in the actor table and it has a unique identifier named ID.